Hi, Bri. Um, I've got to make this very quiet, because otherwise it will wake your wife up. <laughs> um, it's 6.15 in the morning. 4th of September 2015. Um, I've been up since about 3, because I went to bed about 10. I got tired, and that's about going to the gym. Um, yeah... I've left a comment on Sick World video that you've made. I I give up with these people. I mean, <sighs> Peter said it as well. I think these oases are, are the new Nazis, or did they ever go away? First World War, I think the, the thing was the war to end all wars. What they said, Great War, I'm bugged if I know. I thought they mean because it was a world war and the same what only a few years later really world war two um they tried to talk hitler out of it the, the thing is there's people like hitler and, and these jihadis and all of us who won't listen to reason i don't know what you're supposed to do really i mean like you say you bomb them you kill them but the thing is it's the innocent people that get bombed and killed and women get raped and kids get killed like you know not the actual terrorists themselves, something can get killed, but they're too well hidden, you know. And what was it, Bin Laden hid in caves or something, didn't he, for years? And then they go in there, and they, well, it was all over the news, wasn't it, Obama and all of us were watching it at the White House or whatever. They go in there and they shoot the bloke all these years afterwards for what he's supposed to have done when there were so many people that said, that uh, he wasn't behind it. I mean, who knows? We don't know. Um, and then you see all the 9-11 conspiracy theories. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, mate. Um, that say that America did it themselves because it was uh, it was uh, money behind it, which, of course, money, once you can pay the rent, money is power, isn't it? Um, they said they was behind that, and then there's the fake moon landings, and because I don't ever believe that that took place. It's just a promise Kennedy made in the space race and said it before the decade was out, 1969. Um, so, you see, it comes down to the neighbour in the street. I mean, you're not going to put up on that, you're going to get out now. I mean, you can only take a certain amount of militants <clears throat> in any country of course but I, I don't know what the answer is otherwise if I did I'd be a politician to do something about it a proper politician that is um, look at that in Hungary they, in it, they're all on a train over there and they, the Hungarians won't let them get off the train or they won't get off the train it seems to have escalated in the last what week or so I don't know why all of a sudden I mean I, only, I skim through the news same as when I buy a newspaper, I don't even brush me beard. Same as when I look at a newspaper down the line, but just skim the headlines. I end up doing a crossword. No bloody good, I don't know. I'll keep the voice down. Keep forgetting, don't I? Um, yeah, um, it is a very sick world. I've always said man is a very sick animal. You know, his brain has gone further than his body. What I mean is, it's like a lion with a bloody great claw that's about eight foot, in, you know, long, and he can't move. And that's how I say our body, the claws, the brain, that's outgrown the body, but we still got the same body and basic primitive thoughts as well. You know, like when I go like that, all monkeys, other animals, dogs all go like that. We still got these thoughts, but it's about time. These aggressive thoughts. You know, it became uncontrollable, and I agree as well. War should be made illegal. Um, I mean, I could hit, hit somebody all day long if they, you know, that you go out and something annoys you. Think, what a dickhead! And then they do that, or they run in front of me, scoot, and they do a silly little dance. Oh, we, you know, and you think, oh, you stupid! But you can't go around, which would be like declaring war and belting someone in the middle of Asda's. You'll get in trouble anyway. You know, it's, why can't people control their feelings? 
You know, I've, I have. If I'm let loose, I've got a terrible temper. You wouldn't believe I could. Years ago, when I was a kid, and if I lost my temper in a pod, I'd pick tables up and throw them. I used to go completely berserk. It turned out some of it's because the sugar was up in the air that I didn't even know I had. You know, diabetes. But my dad had as well a terrible temper when I start. I am more scared of me, even at my age, than anyone in front of me, you know. And I know it is in me, these rages. I know it's in me. I don't know about kill someone, and I couldn't physically now, but to give someone a good eye at him, but I just can't believe how stupid they are, you know. But you have to control your feelings. You can't go around punching people in the head because you don't agree or they annoy you. I won't say that to anybody, but if they say to me, I've got this thing... It came out of nowhere about 40 years ago. And I was working in hospital and there was a porter there. He looked a bit like Dennis Porterman did when he used to be in Minder years ago. Nobody liked him anyway. I was going over and said, tell him that the porter was there. You know, it was all right. I said, tell him. He said, ain't you going to say uh, goodnight to me? I said, no. I said, well, I said, I don't like you. And I walked on and I thought, did I really say that? Because I could only say things like that if I was in a temper, and I've been able to do that ever since. If I don't like someone and they say, sounds like I say, because I don't like you. Why is that? I don't have to give me a pin, I just don't like you. And I've all gone. You know, it's been, God, the last 40 years I've been able to do that. So, you know, it's all to do with control. You can't just let your feelings go berserk. You don't, you've mastered it. I mean, I don't know, but you look as though you could take care of yourself with somebody had a go at you. You know, fisty cuff boys, but unless they were physically threatening your body, you, you know, I don't think you would. But if someone's physically threatening and they're going to hit you and it's obvious, well, then you've got to take steps. But apart from that, oh, Christ, my voice, why are we just going up a bit? I should go back to bed soon. 20 past here, isn't it? Anyway, changing the subject, oh, heavy that, isn't it? Especially it's time on it. Um, I saw your comment um, about. Uh, yeah, it's something like you're doing well to stop doing the gym, gym work and all that, you know. As I said, I have been thinking of it for a few months now, and because I'd had about a month off, which included two weeks at the train, I was on holiday. I've lost what we used to call a fire in the belly. And when I went back Tuesday, I just, apart from getting tired, I, it's it's just not there anymore. It's just. I haven't got the will to do it anymore, and I don't really care, you know. Because it can't be right, as I said in a comment, that I come home absolutely exhausted. I know I'm 68, but absolutely exhausted. Um, I get home, I'm over, I'm even, I sent a bill right to about 4 o'clock, and I'm on the old scooter, and I come home. I might even do a bit of shopping before. I get in, and my eyes, oh, God, I can't hold them. And if I go on a computer, and then the whole of me gets fatigued, and my daughter, she says to me, Dad, bed. And I go, yeah, and she just comes over to where I'm sitting there and gets hold of me hand and says, bed. And walks me into the bedroom and closes the door, and that's it. Three or four hours later, I'm up. The bloody evening's gone. I used to go to Blue Water on the, on the days that I went to the gym. Uh, we couldn't go when we wanted to, because I was half asleep. And they got... Things, uh, big comfortable chairs in there as well. And it'd be sit, sit in them, get up, scoot, that's it, I've gone. I mean, now what is the point of that? You know, I don't, I want to, I'm 68. God knows how, I don't know how much longer I've got, probably years, who knows. And I don't want to spend it like thoroughly exhausted because I can't go anywhere. Changing the subject again. Knock on the door this morning. Uh, We've come to collect the van. I said, hey, M-O-T. I said, oh, I don't know anything about it. Wife was still in bed, so I asked her. She said, but I cancelled it. This is Mercedes. You know, she said, bloody use it. She said, I cancelled it. So I said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, the road was supposed to have been cancelled. So <clears throat> I was going to Blue Water. Like, you know, I'd shout, well, I'd shout anything else. What a waste of a day. Um, so she said, oh, you better let them have it, she said, because it will take ages to get over with. <clears throat> I said, well, will it come back today? And he said, well, it's down here to come back today. 
So I go, so he took it. And I said to Jane, I said, don't hold you, but eight o'clock it comes back tonight. Blue water closes at nine. At nine, well, the shops it's open for 30, 24 hours. You eat tons of restaurants and that in there, but I mean, there's no point that time of night. So we got let down there, and this is done. You know, I didn't mean to go. Oh, go this bloody long. It's going over ten minutes. It's first thing in the morning. I don't know if you're still up. I'm up, as I say, but I'll be, I should probably go to bed just for a couple of hours and find out what we're doing. Nothing, as far as I know. I'm, I'm going down probably Monday now to cancel my membership in the gym. That says about twenty-four, twenty-six pound a month. Um, but there's no point in me keeping it on. I mean, if I, if I ever want to work out once, I don't know, every couple of months, I ain't got a clue. You just you just pay there and then. I think it's a fiver. You know, which is nothing if you ain't going for every few months. <coughs> I should keep see me mates you know from time to time. I'll live local, so nip down here sometimes and uh, have a chuckle. I don't know if we'll be going to Christmas party, I always have done, but you know, it's not the same if you're not sort of mixing in. But anyway, that's a state of play. Oh the older uh, the lights come in in there it's it's daylight because I have trouble sleeping at night. I can sleep all day in the day. I like shift work, so I go to bed in about twenty minutes. I'll sleep all right to about nine, and then we'll all be up. Your daughter got up just now. So I put the heating on. It was cold. She said I can't sleep. She sat here. We both put a Wallace and Gromit bloody thing on here and watched that for about an hour. And she's gone back to bed now because she can't take nights and days like me. So here we are. Right, no, was it not too important? It isn't a private one; it's a public one. But it, I thought, you know, you can put it all down in the comments. But sometimes it's better to do a video. I hope I ain't gonna get told off for doing it this time of morning. No, <laughs> maybe the last time on you. Right, so it's a good night for me, and a good night for him, and a good night for my sleeping wife. And. Uh, how much more coffee are you going to get? <laughs> About a few more, but you're going to have. And a good day to Bodhi. See you later.